Y'all do not know what grooming looks like. Y'all do not know what inappropriate. Hey, Phoenix is rising. Coach T here. Correction, Queen. They do know what grooming looks like. They just have been um, called crazy for so long and squashed. This is just my opinion. It, they've been people, women, adults, children, whatever. I mean, it's been a constant thing that cluster B personalities do. And I think that people really need to start using the term cluster B. We need to really start get understanding. I am a narc coach and a transformational coach. And the way that um, the Most High God ta taught me was by getting to know why my parents did what they did. Both of my parents were narcissists. Both of my parents were cluster B personalities. If you don't know what a cluster B personality is, please go and look it up or go to my YouTube channel. Either way, um, you know, get some information about it. I also have a workbook. But you need to you need to reprogram your mind. It's not that people don't recognize the grooming or recognize when you have a sex offender. It's two two things really to me. The the demonizing of the people who have come out and, and spoken on it because they did recognize it and so now they're silenced, right? So it's kind of like, oh I got a talent for singing, but somebody made fun of my um the gap in between my tooth, my teeth, front teeth, so now I don't sing, so I'm suppressing that. So it's not that we don't see it, we suppress it. Because nine times out of ten, you're not going to get any support. And the system, even if you do get support, the system's going to fight you. And the system's going to try and kill you. Because we live in America. We live in a country that is narcissistic because the Zionists who ruled us and have been ruling us, and they're still going to rule us. I don't know why you guys think that it's, it's over, but it's not. Um, have, <coughs> have made it so that if we say anything, we're either unalived, we're made to be crazy, we've had fam family members or, or pets who have been unalived. Think about this, this uh, the trend of gang stalking that went on for 20 years. Imagine being gang stalked for 20 years and nobody believing you right and part of that gang stalking is not just stalking or cause stalking it's a group think done by cluster b personalities and they're flying monkeys so if uh if they're gonna do it right if if when <laughs> they're if part of that um uh dehumanization right demoralization demoralizing means they don't want you having morals hold on all right that was too loud so Demoralizing somebody is, is by making fun of their morals, making fun of their faith, right? Part of that is sexual assault because it's all about power. So I'm going to hold, I'm going to take what you hold precious. If you hold boundaries precious, I'm going to cross them. If you hold your uh, sexual orientation, uh, you know, precious, I'm going to cross it, right? That's why some in uh, uh, Asian beliefs or practice, spiritual practices, it's like, you know, you're free when you don't have attachments to anything, right? Um, whatever. Okay. So it's not that, that people don't, don't know, but we, we are living in a narcissistic, psychopathic, sociopathic cluster B cocktail world. And it's been from generation to generation because one thing that cluster B personalities will always do is the same thing over and over again. Could be in a different environment. They do the same. They use the same tactics, but only it's in Africa. It's in the Congo, right? Or they use the same tactics, but only it's in Libya. Or they use the same tactics, but only it's in Ethiopia. You following? And so monkey see, monkey do. That's why when you get people who come, immigrants who come over here, what the, especially I'm a Generation X. So from the 60s on, right, you get immigrants who come over here and the first thing that the Zionists taught them was do not have any respect for the blacks because if you do, you're going to end up like them. And that's why we've been made the brunt. That's why, the, I mean, the, I've, I've, uh, extreme stuff has happened to multiple races which it's not race it's a spirit but i but this the zionist media will put us up front okay so now you have black men who have uh used us as a bartering tool and as a sacrifice you know women kids and, and children to make get themselves close to being gods or kings 
or you know living that high life and some people say well I like white men but they're doing now the same thing that they're that they did with the Jewish guys with Mexican guys because those are the ones who have the power they're just really insidious about what the, their takeover and nobody's realizing that and what they do realize it's not popular yet because in our society it has to be made popular or there has to be a group conscious because nobody wants to do it alone Nobody wants to, to say anything alone. So it's not that people don't recognize grooming. They recognize it. But our system, but people don't want to be ostracized for bringing it up. And even if they all bring it up, the system is not uh, geared towards especially bringing us justice. And people have not understood that it is not about your faith and how many times you call on the name of Jesus. It's about how much, how deeply you have rewired yourself to be able to manifest justice for yourself because you did the work. You should be teaching your kids the exact opposite of what they're being taught in the schools. The exact opposite. You should be taught, teaching them spirituality first because without spirituality, everything else around us is dead. So I just say it again. Um, it's not that I don't believe that it's people that don't know how to recognize it. They've just been numbed to it and um, abused. You know, kind of like when we ask questions about, you know, okay, well, how did Jesus get down here? And, you know, how did he turn water to wine? Where was he for those 20, 10, 15, 20 years? You know what I'm saying? And then we got beat for it, right? So we were, it, the slave mentality was always reinforced in us. And now it's kind of stopped at this, at this latest generation, right? So it's, it's up to us. It's up to us. It's not up to, you know, um, other people. And I don't know why you guys are still sending your kids to school in the, in the first place. But that's just me. Hopefully this helps. Your blessings are in your ashes, Phoenixes. Right.